So if you ever need to go into your magazine, here's how you do it. Get your BBs out of it. And this button right here releases what's in the feed channel up in here. So just get all those out and put this to the side. Then we have one, two, three, four flat-headed screws. If it's a brand new magazine that has never been gone into, uh, there's a nut that comes off of this one. And the other ones have compression nuts. And generally from the factory, they're not very tight. And when you, if you don't, you know, go ahead and just tighten these before you loosen them. That way it'll seat that nut up in the polymer better. Because a lot of times what will happen is when you go back to put them, put them back together, you'll push that nut out. Um, and then you'll have to push on this side with something to get it seated. Alright, all four of them are loose. And then that just comes off like so. And your um, valve and tube assembly come out. And there's a spring right here that uh, is for your button for your uh, plate release. And so just be mindful of that little spring. And then that part comes out like so. These uh, wrap around here from the factory like so. And that comes out. Your motor and gear assembly comes right out. Auger comes out. And then there's your agitator plate right here and it just comes out like so and then there's another spring that goes up in here so when you put it back together put your agitator plate in first and your agitator plate your motor assembly get your wire back the way it was Make sure you're not going to pinch your wire in here when you go put the other half of the housing back on it. And this part goes in with the hole up for your spring. And if you wanted to take your valve body off, it just unscrews like so. And it goes back in. Yeah, and then your auger, whichever one you're running, goes back in, and on mine, this little uh, stub right here goes in the groove on this cog. Don't know if you can see it, but that's how it works. And also make sure that you this pin is in position so it's not like off to the side or something when you tighten it back down. And let's see. Another thing to be mindful of is this door, which can come off. There is a spring beyond inside that. Uh, so if you accidentally pull this off and you've got nothing but your pin there, um, your spring has probably traveled into some other dark dimension and you'll never find it again but 
I yeah, imagine you could use a spring from a ballpoint pen to replace it. Anyway, just don't lose it. So that goes in like so. And you carefully want to line your release up with this corresponding hole. And put your screws back in and make sure that your door is in both sides of the housing. Tighten everything back down. And don't forget to put this back in because you'll put it in your gun and turn it on and BBs will be all over the place. And if you have any spare parts left over by the time you're at this point, take all these screws out and put them in because you're probably going to need them.